So we'll now uh, continue with the second part of the program, starting with uh, Dr. Asim Parikh, who's uh, head at Nair. Not specifically an external fixator man, but he heads a department. He has uh, residents, and therefore, he probably can give us some insight as to is it a forgotten art, if it is a forgotten art, why is it a forgotten art and how we can correct whatever lacunae we have in our training. So all yours, Asim. Thank you, Mangal. Uh, Viraj, you will uh, kindly uh, indicate to me when we are at 12 minutes, and then again at 18. Thank you. Uh, Sudhir uh, said in the course of his uh, presentation, he showed a lovely slide of the external auditory apparatus. He says, beautiful placement. Uh, placement is, if not everything, a lot. What is the master's mandate today? The mandate is to share, as given to me, to share the distillate of a number of uh, surgeon years experience in a series conceived and conducted by the Bombay Orthopedic Society to <coughs> help you connect with the master within you. Sangeet, uh, Pradeep, Rajesh, and Sudhir have uh, dealt with a lot of uh, facts. If uh, we are to demonstrate something, it would be placement is everything. The central railway is at odds with itself. They place the auditorium next to the tracks. Placement is everything. In law, a lot of law going around, uh, the matters are decided on points of law and matters of fact. Facts have been addressed, uh, they will be addressed further. In medicine, uh, specifically surgery, orthopedic surgery, uh, what is law, what in law are uh, laws are principles. Both points of law and principles of uh, the practice of medicine and surgery form a philosophy of management. You go back uh, to what Dr. Satish Modi pointed out. Indeed, there is not, has not been sufficient visibility. Increasingly, we are living in an age of visibility. Uh, this is an initiative by us uh, out of the teaching at Nair and uh, uh, has begun to pervade into different places. Uh, it is definitely pervaded here today. The initiative is to reorganize uh, thoughts, 
based on what one already knows, taking as a given that the facts are in place. And the topic uh, I have been charged with uh, doing justice to, hopefully, external fixation, uh, forgotten art. I come here with a distinct advantage, having had four masters speak before me. And there was a bit of uh, self-sounding. Uh, indeed, is the art uh, dead or is it uh, dying or is it merely forgotten? For it is uh, dead, we need to exhume it and we need to reinstill life into it. Uh, very difficult, possibly impossible, strike that. Uh, if it is dying, uh, we put it in the Sudhir ICU. Yes, ICU. We were just speaking about the ICU there. Uh, still very difficult. Everybody who goes into ICU doesn't necessarily come out. If it is forgotten, and uh, uh, we hope to come to some agreement that it is indeed uh, forgotten, we just need to reconnect, and that is what mind space is all about. Oh, where are we? Hmm. Up arrow, yes, up arrow, and yeah, can you just go back to the first, please? Yes, uh, this is the topic we uh, decided on. Uh, whether it is a raw deal. Now, what is a raw deal? A raw deal is one which, not having been examined for what it is truly worth, neglected, uh, worse, discarded. What is worse than just being neglected and discarded? Being discarded, unexamined. What are the causes for not being examined? Uh, in large part, poor visibility. Uh, spears, after a fashion. Uh, without spears, after a fashion, to be very difficult to imagine external fixation. Whether it's a wire, whether it's a K wire, whether it's a olive, whether it's a Steinman pin, whether it's a Denham pin, whether it's a Shan screw, there is a spear. And what is it about spears? Take your mind back within mind space, within mind space, take it back and in mythology, all gateways, most gateways, are guarded with jai vijay with spears. Uh, to refuse entry, spear goes oblique, no entry. Once you're inside, you are trapped. When you need to leave, spears back. To stand easy, you have exit. Once again, thank you, Sudhir. I make reference to placement is everything. Uh, for uh, spears, for uh, wires for uh, pins, threaded and otherwise. And if it is forgotten, what are the usual causes of memory failure? Uh, memory consists of uh, three parts. You all know this. It is basic undergraduate uh, psychiatry. Registration, retention, and recall. Now, uh, If you are blessed with a memory which is uh, wax to receive and marble to retain, uh, a lot of your issues in life are auto-addressed. And if one is to have a difficulty of registration, it is usually a lack of attention, a lack of interest. Retention is distraction. Get more interested in other things. Uh, we use 2% uh, of our uh, total capacity. Uh, the smarter ones use up to 6% possibly. Uh, it's very easy to get distracted. Recall is a matter of wanting to share, wanting to communicate. All masters have good memory. They have to have good memory. It is not possible to be a master without having a good memory.
involuntary, voluntary, uh, selective. These are, these are situations which the individual plays around with when he or she wishes to pull a fast one. I forgot. I didn't remember. I'll do it next time. You forget, not because you forget, you forget because you choose to forget. For what are our needs and what are our wants? And all this has relevance to remembering what all of you in this room already know. You need a degree, uh, three of my residents in the back, uh, they, 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 they need a degree. They will not otherwise be able to practice orthopedics. Uh, they want all kinds of things. They need an education in orthopedics, in external fixation. They want all kinds of things. Uh, the more senior amongst us in the room uh, tend to confuse from time to time our needs from our wants. Needs are usually legitimate. Wants are usually frippery. History in Bombay as was. Uh, a lot of you are uh, from the first row uh, and, and, and certainly uh, remember the history in Bombay pre-94-95 when the city was still Bombay. Uh, I was, I was uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Thakur Jr. at uh, Cooper Hospital when we had a very uh, dashing lecturer uh, who, who imported uh, telepathically and otherwise, uh, I see Sudhir smiling, uh, information about rings and rings and uh, a very dashing fellow. He has continued to dash all over the place. He's still dashing all over the place. Uh, uh, and that was the story of Kurgan. And anything is possible. There were two major, three major changes. One was uh, the AO, philosophy. There was uh, PK Sethi and the Jaipur Fort. And there was the X-Fix. Uh, moving uh, to KEM, when Bombay was still Bombay, uh, we started doing, and a number of us continued to do till other things became available, possibly better things, indeed better things became available. Uh, using the services of the occupational therapy department, uh, aluminum, uh, carpentry, uh, Steinman pins, uh, dental cement, and setting up fixators for what would otherwise be possibly an unsalvageable tibia fracture. Later on, uh, the, the aluminum sidings gave way to crocodile clamps. Infection, big problem, hyperbaric oxygen, not available. Became a very difficult thing to do as far as providing results were concerned. At the same time, just behind the KEM, Dr. B.B. Joshi was coming out with uh, 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 his exposition of the entire uh, philosophy. And uh, Bombay became Mumbai, by which time uh, at least two of the masters over here had uh, been variously to uh, Kurgan and both to Baltimore and picked up what was then still a rudimentary art and they stayed with it. They stayed with it because having learned something, uh, one needs to apply it. See, just having knowledge is not enough. Knowledge does not equate with experience. Experience is using your knowledge. They stayed with it, and it makes them, you know who they are, uh, unique, in a unique position. It, it has got them into unique position for knowing what there is to know about the philosophy and practice of external fixation. So if you have two living people in your midst today, very accomplished people, people who are acknowledged as masters in the field, true masters in the field. There are no false masters. Rajesh, where is Rajesh? Uh, false masters go away before time, possibly. Anything is possible. Uh, there, is, there is no way anybody can say it is indeed a forgotten art. It is not a forgotten art. Uh, it has not lost its way. Possibly, we have. Uh, Bombay became Mumbai. Back in Bombay, we had homemade, we had ready-made. Homemade is Grohodyog, necessarily 
less expensive, easier to get together, easier to apply, easier to subsidize before the external fixator like so many other things became market driven. And uh, we said we had the crocodile and we had the AO tubular. I, I was not uh, there. Uh, Pradeep for your uh, talk on uh, external fixation of uh, pelvic fractures, but we had recognized in a uh, text possibly as old as that papyrus, it's called Campbell's Operative Orthopedics, that uh, a, a dislocated hip takes precedence over any other surgical emergency, even a penetrating abdominal trauma too, an unstable pelvic fracture bleeds with every breath. If it is stable pelvic fracture, strap it up sling the patient, but we have no beams anymore. Aotubular, uh -huh. early days. Uh, two of us, Mangal and I, uh, used to go to Ward 20 in uh, KM on emergency days and uh, insert uh, aotubular, fix it, uh, connect them, stabilize pelvis. It is possible we saved a life maybe two but that was the start. That was the start of on-road attention. Those days there was no EMS. What 20 km was just off the footpath. Anyway. Uh, okay, I messed it up again. Hmm? There we go. So complications will occur. I, I, I'm, thank you. It's nice to have you here, please. Then, then there was, uh, thank you. Then there was uh, Ringen, uh, Gabriel, uh, Gavril Abramovich, and uh, we are here to discuss uh, fixators. The, uh, uh, how many people know in this room at what age Gavril started his formal education, primary education? You don't have to tell us, uh, just put the hands up. Huh? One there and uh, uh, one there. He was, he was, that's one person. And we are discussing, uh, Dr. Modi sir, we are discussing external fixation. No, no, we are discussing external fixation and we are here in a master series and uh, half external fixator is ring and uh, Gavril Abramovich was attending uh, to sheep till age 11. Till age 11? Till age 11, thank you, Melan. Uh, till age 11. So, in Gujarati, there is a saying, there will be one in every language, Jagya Tanthi Savar. So you wake up now at age 11 or, or, or at uh, uh, 10 to 12 and you get moving. See, the moment it has been shown to you or pointed out, you still choose to not go, that is your choice. And uh, there was the AO, uh, which uh, we used to call the skis from the slopes and rails and inclines, which uh, uh, you will be hearing about it. So uh, it became the new game in town. So, so uh, uh, we say, Nitanavina, uh, Nitanavina, Dunya. See, everything, uh, a variety is the spice. So when something is new, it attracts one. And the attraction fades. So what makes for a lasting relationship, in this case, with the external fixator? Games come, games go. Trauma rules for the for the first decade uh, to to uh, based on my observation, uh, it was all trauma. There was no deformity. Uh, there was there was uh, uh, no uh, th there was uh, uh, infections and uh, there was but it was a spin off of trauma. Uh, and then Jess came along. And then uh, Dr. Joshi began to be heard people started listening to him. Dr. Joshi was always heard everywhere. Uh, trauma ruled and everybody was preoccupied. Orthopedic surgeons know trauma. Uh, they'd like to think they understand trauma. So the application of external fixator to trauma where nothing else is going to work. So you know it all and if it's not going to work, external fixator. And you caught up. And then there was a time for consolidation. Fractures united, infections were controlled. Move on to other things. When Gabriel Abramovich started, 
it was to lengthen bonds it was not to correct deformity and of course of course all the the the, the war casualties which landed up there with a the neglected trauma but uh, go to any literature it says lengthen bonds consolidated and like every other currency it was tested in all the markets it was decided it's a long way to go uh, a lot of people do not choose to stay for the long haul. People dropped out. A few stayed on. They became masters. It was applied to odds, ends, curves, bends. This is the story of limb lengthening, uh, deformity correction, uh, trauma management. And where did we go from here? Most went home others stayed. Some went to Kurgan, some went to Katani. Renaissa happened in the New World. Others went to Baltimore. The guy in Baltimore, Baltimore went to Florida. Nowadays he goes to Haiti. When you are on to a good thing, don't let go. It can only get better. Uh, drawer Paley, Mangal tells me when he was uh, with uh, Drawer Paley, uh, he had a packed suitcase in the office, right? So he, he wouldn't go home, uh, he would go where he needed to go. Uh, Haiti, you can check out later. And uh, Claudic, and, and Will. So, what will you do and how will you reform? How will you change? And will is in inverted commas because will, what will we bequeath? What will we bequeath? What are we bequeathing to our students today? What will we bequeath to the next generation of orthopedic surgeons? The value of rumination. Uh, life not examined possibly in retrospect is not worth living. Think about it. What have you learned? What have you applied? What have you learned? And set it up as a cycle. Dogma is seen to be inflexible, rigid. It declines on its own. Within dogma, it is still possible to be flexible. That is the value of these programs, continuing orthopedic education in general. Do not get delirious. There is sensory overload. There is excess. There is, this is from the book of Ecclesiastes. There is a time to sow, a time to reap, a time to kill, a time to heal. Select your timings because the same book tells you that there is a time and a purpose. There is a time and a season for every purpose under heaven. And uh, this is something we used to say in uh, orthopedic center KM. Never, say never again. It's a different way of saying different words. Is hang in there, keep doing it, something good will come of it. We have not yet seen the stern of external fixation. We have not seen its posterior. We choose to kick it in the posterior, it will be relegated to posterity without spreading information and knowledge about its applications and still unexplored possibly possibilities. It will go the way of all theater. The fat lady will sing. That will be the end. Uh, 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 I keep on telling my residents this. So life is simple, very simple. Life is simple, we complicate it. Uh, straightforward fractures, we complicate them. Uh, uh, mind space, this is, this is a lot of people, some people from KEM here. The, uh, we, we have a little group. Hmm? This is not a title one arrogates to oneself. Okay, so, so this is, this is uh, something which uh, uh, I have been uh, nominated to and uh, anybody on the group, uh, come on and uh, take right over. Uh, thank you for your attention, Mangal. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Asim.